Hi, I'm Ann Kapler, food editor at the Gazette, and I'm in the culinary arts kitchen at Kirkwood Community College with Chef Dave. And you know, it's been a long winter, and it's finally spring and time to heat up the grills. So Chef Dave is going to show us how to make a really easy dry rub to flavor all sorts of different types of meats. Today I'm going to make a jerk dry rub, and we're going to be infusing a dry rub on the surface to build flavors. By using a surface rub, this will penetrate oh, about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch uh, into the surface. Um, by using salt, that builds flavor and builds uh, taste into your dry rub. To do that, it oftentimes draws the moisture out of the chicken or fish or pork. And you need to allow that to rest or develop flavor marinate for about two to four hours. This adjusts the flavors back into the meat and then gives you a nice saltiness all the way through. In combining a dry spice rub for a Jamaican dry rub, I'm going to first add some onion flakes, some onion powder, this is our savory component, some dry thyme, some sea salt, and then what makes it extra special is allspice, which is kind of a native element of Jamaica. It gives you a flavor of a lot of different spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Some actual nutmeg is going to go into it, some cinnamon, some sugar for sweetness, some black pepper, some cayenne pepper for some really good zip, some chives for another onion element, and then another famous thing of Jamaica is habaneros or scotch bonnets to give it some really good heat. Take it into your mortar pestle and then just grind it until it gets into a rub. And this takes a little bit of work. Now, another alternative to this is you could use a spice grinder, like a coffee, little coffee grinder, or you could use a small mini prep food processor to do the same thing. But the original ones would just rob a lock in that. And you can see it's got nice grinding, good texture. It doesn't have to be a fine powder, but just more or less ground up. Now to finish the rub, you take your chicken breast and you put your spice rub in a bag. Place your chicken breast in the bag. And this is to help no fuss, no muss. Now this particular marinade and rub is quite potent. So in the bag controls it. Just keep on rubbing it in until it gets all over nice and, and uniform. Then I would re recommend leaving this set refrigerated for about 10 to 15 minutes minimum to two hours.